Hey, welcome to Vape and Juice TV. This is our coil series where I'm going to show you how to change a coil in your vape kit. So without further ado, let's show you which coil we're going to change now. So we're going to do a coil change on the Vaporesso Orca. Now we're going to do a top down so you can see exactly how to change a coil on the Vaporesso Orca. So here we've got the Vaporesso Orca and I'm going to show you from the box. Uh, so we're going to open the box up and you can see exactly what I see when I first open the box. This one has been opened before. I haven't actually used it though, so uh, what we've got here is obviously it comes in the box, you'll get a tank, you get a tank here, sorry, and you'll get the battery unit plus two coils. You get some other bits and bobs, but I got rid of that. So let's just get it out of the box. Ah! I appreciate if you're watching this video, it's because you've already had it out of the box and you want to know how to change the coil over. So I'm going to show you from the ground up. So uh, it's made up of a metal sheaf, uh, it's made of a metal sheaf here. Let's uh, so pop that there. Got your glass the little more Pyrex cylinder and you've got your around the actual base of the battery you'll see there's kind of this silicony looking color that's an o-ring and that keeps it airtight and that keeps it solid on there and then obviously there's a little lip so the coil I'm gonna zoom in here coil goes straight down the hole there screws into place and generally you'll then if you do it without a liquid in it so it makes it a lot easier so let's grab a coil stand that like that so there's a few different types of coils that you can get with most kits. This particular one comes with a 1.3 ohm coil. Now the ohms relate to resistance, it just means how much power can get to the actual liquid and bigger cloud or easier, easier draw. Um, this one here is 1.3 ohms. There are some other ones, but there you go. So I'm just gonna screw this one into the base like so. Don't squeeze, don't, sorry, don't squeeze, don't screw it too tightly. Just do it hand tight. And the reason for that is we don't wanna cross thread it. Cross threading is when the sort of the the, the, the ridges of the actual screw kind of uh, smash up and then it means you're never going to get it out and then you basically got to get a whole new kit. So hand tight is fine, tighter isn't any better, just make sure it's, it's firmly in place and that you could always unscrew it because you're going to need to unscrew it at some stage and it'll look like that. There we go, pop the little Pyrex tube back on top, nice and firm and then we uh, fill it up with liquid down the little gap and uh, screw it on like so. And that is how you add a coil but obviously to change the coil Unscrew her, take the glass off, unscrew the coil, throw it in the bin, jobs are good and simple as that. Easier to do it when there's no liquid in there, but that is how you change a coil on a Vaporesso Walker. There you go, helpful video. We help you vape, that's what we do. If you need any more help, don't forget to use the live web chat on our website. What's our website? It's vapeandjuice.co.uk or .com. We ship internationally, check us out. Thanks for watching.